Hey guys, today I'm gonna be um, trying to make um, oatmeal raisin cookies and I'm gonna be using this uh, Quaker Oats uh, you're gonna need um, let me run through the stuff you need you need half a cup of butter soften uh, six tablespoon three quarter cup firmly packed brown sugar half a cup granny granulated sugar that's regular gran granulated sugar two eggs uh, one teaspoon vanilla one and a half cups of all-purpose flour one teaspoon baking soda one teaspoon ground cinnamon half a, a teaspoon salt that's optional you don't have to use that uh, three cups of Quaker oats and one cup of raisins so I'm gonna get all these things and also I'm gonna work with what I have um, I'm not using eggs because I'm a, a vegetarian uh, like uh, slash vegan so instead of the using eggs I'm gonna probably use heavy cream or some uh, regular milk or more butter you know something like that so I'm gonna get started right here okay so here I have the brown sugar regular granulated sugar both are granulated uh, sugar but this one is brown this one is white so I'm gonna add the butter to it and mix this up okay so here I added the sugar and the butter and I'm mixing it you can use a, a mixer for this but I'm using a spoon okay after mixing it now I'm gonna add the bacon um, powder the all-purpose flour and the cinnamon and mix it up okay I finished mixing it now I'm gonna add the raisin to it I have these um, one of the black raisin I have this one and I'm gonna add the uh, oats also to it and I'm gonna mix this up and then it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be ready to go in the oven also preheat your um, oven um, at 350 degree degrees okay added all the stuff to make it I think I need some more um, oatmeal it's kind of little soft okay here I have a uh, aluminum foil or you can use your um, baking sheets for the pan and I have them here ready to go in the oven uh, you want to bake them for uh, 8 to 10 minutes until it's like golden brown and then you take take them out and let it cool off for one minute and then taste it Okay, so I finished baking, but I made them a little too big. You gotta make uh, make it a little more smaller because it's gonna get big. This, this is how it looks like the bottom. Let it cook. I use like a uh, a tablespoon and take like one one um, small tablespoon and you put it you lay it because if you put too much it's gonna uh, you know, bake and expand like this I don't want it so big thanks for watching